Hey, you guys, welcome back. Okay, so this is a video that uh, I'm really unsure about. So I did do a, um, like a test run of, I think it's Exodo or Zodo. I don't know. But I did do a test run of this app, um, gosh, like two years ago now. And I was fully not impressed on um, the Apple side. It wouldn't let you pull in images. The text tool was really sketchy, um, but those things you could do on the Android side. So um, I heard that they adjusted that for Apple. So I was like, okay, let's give it another try and see how it goes. So I did open the app yesterday um, just to kind of get a feel for it. So I'm not as fumbly today. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, so open it up. Immediately, it pulls up this page, which I'm like, whoa, these items, look, you can see are from like 2019, and I haven't opened them since, so it's like, why are they still here? And that was like two tablets ago, so that's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're just going to pull in, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to pull in this square because this was part of the problem that I had yesterday. This app does not like squares. Um, it's like you can't shrink it so that it fits. Like you always have some hanging off. Like if I could leave it like that, that would be fantastic. But as soon as I let it go, it snaps like this. I am not a fan of that. So um, that's the first kind of like, ah. but in the interest of keeping it like a fair assessment, because I know that not everybody uses square layouts, I'm going to bring in a horizontal one or a landscape one. I think this is from Lux book. Hopefully it tells us. Oh yeah, this is definitely a Lux book. So you can see that as far as Lux book or Lux book, as far as landscape planners go, it it's fine. It works like you'd expect. Um, I, okay. So I know with this one, they do have the option of like two pages, like two page view. Let me, hold on. View settings. Yeah, right here where it says facing. So you could have two pages open like side by side. Um, we're gonna go to single page um, just because it's easier to see. I think you can set it up so that it will horizontal scroll, which again, is a preference thing. Yeah, here we go. Um, and for me, it is a preference just because it's what I'm used to. But again, look, it's it's not fitting stuff on here very well this way. We're going to keep going. <laughs> um, one of the things that I ran into yesterday that was kind of hard, I'm just going to use this blank area, that was kind of hard to figure out for me was how to import an image. Like, my gut instinct was like, okay, well, it's got to be something up here in this toolbar, but I couldn't find anything up there. It's all like text and notations and stuff like that. So then I was like, okay, well, maybe if I long press, but long pressing just, it marks up. So I went, okay, let's go here and long press. No, nothing. That's a selection tool. So what you have to do is you have to take the stylus out entirely and long press with your finger. Fine. As long as it still works. So um, you can use files, like go into your files and bring something in, which is great. Oops. Apparently, though, your pen only wants to mark stuff up. I'm wondering if that's a, uh, a feature that you can change. Let's take a look. Ink is drawn with... Okay. Apple Pencil settings. Let's see that. All right, let's try to turn that off and see what happens. Oh, finger and pencil touches create annotations. We don't want that. Let's let's try this. Okay, so now as long as I don't have a pen tool selected, it looks like it's going to act as there you go. It acts as a, as a stylus would or a pencil finger, finger would. So that's good. You can change that. That was, that's a good thing. So with this one, I noticed if you hit the text tool, 
Then over here on the right side, you have the option to set, it looks like four custom fonts. And it does rec uh, recognize system fonts, which is a good thing. Let's see. Thickness, I think, would work if you were um, using a a font that has that option. So we're not gonna we're not gonna judge that. Okay, so then you could come over here and change this one to something else, maybe with a different color, and then um, different font face also. Let's do a system font and check that. Um, that font thickness thing. Yeah, see, it didn't do anything there either. Huh. So I do like that you can have the different fonts. GoodNotes really seems to be behind the times on that because most of these other apps that I'm testing do let you do that. Um, one thing I did notice about this one that's kind of a bummer though, is if you go to your files app, and then find, whoops, that's not it. Find where you have like some stickers. Like we'll go here and then split screen with Exoto, which you can do. You cannot drag and drop. It won't let you do the like pulling in from another window, which kind of sucks. I mean, at least you have the option to get to them using the, um, the long press and then cloud thing. But sometimes, especially with an app that doesn't um, typically, shops typically don't make Exoto um, sticker books. I don't even know if you can, we'll test that. But um, it's easier to pull like from a split screen than it is to go in and, you know, uh, navigate to the folder every time. But because it can be done, we're not gonna mark that as a con. So let's see about exporting. Okay, you can export a copy or a flattened copy. Um, let's, oh look, you can open it in, oh, I don't think we could open this in GoodNotes. I'm gonna try though. Oh, it made a copy of the, I wonder if it changed my, where I wrote my testing and stuff, let's see. Oh my goodness. Can I edit it? No, it, okay, it just made it a flat image. Okay, that was, that was kind of weird for a second. I was like, wait a second. Okay, so it also does not look like you can export a proprietary file, like a, an editable file. Like I couldn't go in and then like make a sticker book to give to somebody else. I don't see that feature here, which kind of sucks. What is this? What did I just do? Oh, maybe that's portrait mode. Oh, that's kind of cool that it would have that. You know, maybe if I close these other documents that I have open. Okay, just close it. Okay, if you close, no. Because where, oh. Man. It took away my tools. I don't know how to get my tools back. Oh, there we go. Okay. If you take out um, some of the other documents that you have open, it looks like the, the landscape planners fit better. So I'll give it that. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to say. Do the links? What's this? Squiggly. I can't. Oh, got it. Okay. I literally have this selected and I can't do anything with it. I don't understand. Maybe it's if I type something. No. Okay. I don't know what these tools do. 
Is there a, like, a question mark? Let's go see what the main menu has to offer. Here's our settings. Oh, JavaScript execution in PDF documents. That's interesting. Oh, this looks like the same, um, the same menu that's inside the document. All right, let's just go back in here. I'm trying to see how I can access links. I know that this app used to have link access. I don't know if it still does. Okay, that might have worked. Yeah, okay, so if you just take, like, get off of a um, a writing tool, like I just selected this highlighter thingy, then it will take you to your different links. So the links do work. That's good. Okay. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. There's, n can we rotate text? Let's try that. Edit. Oh, look at this, you guys. It doesn't look like you can... Maybe if I two-finger? No. It doesn't look like you can rotate text. Oh, that's not good. Okay. What's this thing? Oh, you can put little notes on the page. That's fun. Okay. Well, I want to read my note. How do I read it? Oh, now I have two little notes. I can appreciate that those are there. I wonder if you can change the look of them. Oh, I'm making like 50 little notes. Okay, long press does not make a straight line with a highlighter. But I'm one, nope, okay. What's this one? Oh, this just takes your pens and stuff that you have for um, your system, I think. Oh, that was a good highlighter. That was a really good highlighter, okay. What's this thing? Oh, like highlighted text. I don't understand how to use these, though. Like, you see it's here, but... I really... I'm confused by this app. It has some features that are pretty cool, but a lot that I'm like, what, what even is this? It says highlight. But I can't even, like... Maybe... Hold on. There you go. Okay, so you just select something that is text-based to highlight. It's not letting me turn the page. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm at the end. That's why. Okay. So can I... Got it. Okay, so it's if there's already text there, it'll highlight. So where the other one was like just drawing a thing like however you wanted it, this one will do like a straight, I'm going to highlight the text that's already there. I can appreciate that tool. Okay, so now, does it do the same with this thing? Okay, so this app looks like it's more for documentation and stuff, which, I mean... That's definitely going to have its place. I don't know that it's as useful for planning, at least the way that I plan. But I can definitely appreciate pinching and zooming is just not where it's at. Probably because of that pencil setting that I changed earlier. Oh, what did I do? Oh, searching in the text. Okay. Oh, I wonder. I'm going to type in birthdays and see if it finds it. It did. Okay, that's cool. That is neat. I can see this app being useful for actual document editing more so than planning. Because like features like that, to be able to recognize from a PDF, 
that's pretty darn cool because a lot of apps like word processing apps and things like that, they can't read a PDF. They just recognize it as an image. So I can fully appreciate this as literally a PDF editing app, less so as a planning app, but I can, it earns some points with me for actual document editing. That is really, really cool. I haven't seen that in another app. So I like that. Okay, so here we have an insert tool. Okay, okay. So that's how you would bring in pictures another way. Oh, look at this. Rubber stamps. I wonder if you can change these. Oh, that's neat. Can I move it? Yep. Okay, still going in with the actual document editing. That's really neat. What does this do? Oh, whoops. Oh, no, I just got rid of my toolbar again. Okay, you, what do you do? Maybe that's like bookmarking the page. Oh, that's for a signature, I'm sure. Yep, okay, cool. Measure. No way. Oh, <laughs> neat, look. Gotta appreciate that. Oh, wow, that's kind of impressive. I don't know what this is gonna do. Okay. Oh, darn it, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, what else do we have? Pens, v oh, view mode, I'm sure that's just for scrolling. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at, you can make all kinds of different shapes and stuff. You gotta appreciate that, okay. Oh, I bet this is where that thickness thing comes in, yep. You can fill, oh, that I like for like doing your own boxes and stuff. I can appreciate that. I'm gonna, uh-oh, is this gonna draw, what? Oh, look, you can, okay. <laughs> this is kind of strange, but all right. All right, so if I were to go like this, okay, I get it, I get it. Oh, and this is gonna be the same. Got it, so you're just tapping and making, connecting lines, gotcha. I mean, I don't wanna judge this app harshly based on the fact that it's literally not a planning app. That's not what it's for. As an app that is literally for annotation and like document editing, this is pretty top drawer. So yeah, I'm gonna say that for planning, not necessarily my jam, but as a as an annotation app, like I could see myself using this just for annotating. Why is my pen not working? There it goes. Um, like if I needed to edit a PDF, like an actual document, I would totally use this. In fact, I might use this for the kids' schoolwork because that's, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I, uh, as an annotation app, absolutely. Planning app, not so much, but I definitely like it better now on Apple than I did during my last review when literally the features on this thing were so basic that, I mean, you couldn't even do any of this stuff. So yeah, that's uh, that's my, my two cents. Any of you guys on Apple who use um, this app for digital planning, let me know what you think the pros are and if there's any features that I just blindly missed. Because again, I don't know it very well. This is kind of a 2021 first impression, but um, I'm pretty impressed for its editing capabilities. So that's going to be it for me for this video. I hope you guys found this entertaining <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.